Hello and welcome to another video and I'm back in the country, I'm back from Sweden, I had a freaking awesome time. If you've not seen my last two videos, go and watch them, they were the ones I made while I was out there. If you missed me while I was away, give this video a like, although if you did miss me, that means you haven't watched my videos, so kind of give me mixed messages there guys. Anyway, I've just finished work, I'm feeling a bit sweaty, I'm sat outside my house now, so I'm going to go inside and start this video off with a very amusing story. So, see you in a sec. <laughs> I thought the the graphic, the intro graphic was gonna like come on when I Oh god, I'm so freaking sweaty. Funny story. So if you watch my last video, you'll have a loose understanding of what happened in Sweden. Um, but I watched the video back and I feel like uh, I kind of skirted over it. Like I talked about it for like 30 seconds, but it's a pretty big deal. It was pretty unbelievably awkward. Um, and so I feel like I owe you a full explanation. Um, and so here we go. I'm going to give you some full disclosure. What happened in Sweden? So um, in short, to uh, summarize, I fell in a lake. Like literally, I fell in a lake. Like I'm not exaggerating, um, I was stood on the edge of a lake, holding Luca, trying to be like funny and cute and like let him be inquisitive. And then my foot started sliding um, and it took like th a good 30 seconds, but I basically gradually just slid. If here's the land and here's the water, I just gradually slid like this until I was almost completely submerged. Luckily, Cesar's auntie was there to take Luca off my hands. Everyone else just kind of sat there and watched. I think they were kind of more in amazement. Like, Cesar keeps saying, like, why didn't you shout for help? But, I don't know. Firstly, I didn't really, it didn't seem too too much of like a panic-stricken situation. And plus, I feel like as an adult man, shouting help is a bit like of a weird thing to do. So I kind of just took it like a man, just slowly slid into the lake. I kind of handed off, palmed off Luca and then just kept going until I was literally, the water was up to here, right? So at that point, I was kind of annoyed, but I also found it quite funny. Everyone was laughing at me. It wasn't until Sarah said, um, have you got your phone and camera in your pockets that I suddenly thought, crap, and the situation went from really funny to me to being like, oh my God, this is a disaster. So basically, yeah, my phone and my camera were in my pockets. And when I, when I realized that, I couldn't just jump out of the water because it was like super slippery. So I kind of climbed out over the, over the course of about a minute. Um, using like Cesar's foot, I think, for some kind of purchase. Um, I took all the battery and stuff out of the camera and the phone. I followed all the stuff he meant to do, like kind of shook him off and whatever. Got back, uh, dried him out a bit, left him in rice overnight. Um, I felt quite optimistic about it, like, I don't know why I just did. Um, and I think in the video I said to you that, because obviously I had to film the last half of that video um, with Cesar's camera, which wasn't ideal, I apologise for that by the way, but it wasn't too bad to be fair. Um, but yeah, next morning I got up, uh, it kind of excited to find out what the, uh, the damage was. Uh, turn the phone on, the phone is absolutely fine, like it literally functions fine, like it hasn't been damaged in any way, which is an absolute result. Camera, however, is a complete write-off, like it looks fine. Uh, basically, I turned it on um, and the kind of lens came out for like a second, then went straight back in and made like a weird kind of crackling noise and that's it, game over. So I'm probably going to like maybe take it to a camera shop out of interest and see if, it's kind of a, if it can be repaired, but... Basically, uh, long story short, I need a new camera. I've been planning to get a new camera uh, for quite a while now, and obviously this is not a good thing, but like it's kind of a good thing in a way because it's kind of forced me into getting that. Like I probably would have put it off for a while, so now I had no choice. So I've done it. I've gone out and got a new camera. I went for a Canon 80D. So. Uh, I did a lot of research, um, I watched a lot of YouTube videos, I spoke to a lot of other YouTubers, um, just watched yeah, loads of reviews, read loads of reviews, um, and basically in the end I'd narrowed it down to a Sony uh, A6300 and a Canon 80D. Um, obviously I know the Sony is slightly higher quality and films in, in higher frames per second, but the, the what kind of did it for me in the end was the Canon having the flip screen. Like I, at first I thought it would be alright, but like my videos are very kind of, they're, they are, they're all vlogs, you know, and a lot of it is me holding the camera and talking to the camera, you know, and I think that as much as I'm sure you could get used to it after a while, I just feel like it would be really irritating not having, not be able to see what you're filming. Um, yeah, so that's what swung it for me. Plus the other thing that swung it for me is that watching a lot of Casey uh, Neistat stuff, that's like his dream setup is is a Canon ATD with the, the, the Gorilla Pod, etc. And I figure if it's good enough for Casey, is good enough for me. Yeah, and that's basically the reasoning behind the thumbnail and the title. Like, I'm not exaggerating. The whole setup in total has cost me, I think, like 1,300 pounds. Basically, I went for the Canon HD. I got a, a wider angled lens. I got the 
a 10 to 18 mil one. I went for a Rode mic, and then I also went for the uh, Joby Gorilla Pod. Um, and finally, I went for this, which is not like it looks like a dead mouse. It looks like I've just killed a creature, and I've got it on my finger in some kind of grotesque, uh, perverted fashion. But it's not. It is like a mic, uh, like an anti-wind thingy. I live on the beach, and so it's very windy here. So anytime I'm filming outside, a lot of the a lot of the time it is windy, and it's very hard to film. And if I do film, you can't really hear what I'm saying. So many times I film stuff, and then the audio has been completely rubbish. So I've had to delete it. So I'm hoping if I stick this on the mic, it will make it uh, that much easier for me to go and do that. Um, yeah, so that is that. If you have any questions about my, set my setup, let me know. Also, any advice on how to use the Canon ATZ? I'm still like, it's got a lot of like features and a lot of settings, and I'm quite lazy. I like to go for auto, but I know you can obviously get the most out of the camera if you kind of change the ISO and the aperture and all that kind of crap. So, feel free, experts out there, to let me know the best settings for vlogging, for you know, like light and when it's dark and blah blah blah. That'll be very appreciated. But for now, um, you've heard enough about cameras and me falling in a lake and embarrassing myself. Sears and Luca are upstairs, they're bored, so I'm gonna grab them, we're gonna go out, it's quite a sunny day, so I'll probably wander around on the beach and something, uh, try and get some cool shots with the camera. I'm still obviously in the testing phase, so bear with me while I get used to it, and then we'll go and get probably some coffee and some cake. Let's go. to a place called Follies, it's just opened up on the high street. There's one of them like about 15 minutes from us. We've been there a few times before. It's like a predominantly a pizza place, so you've probably seen me have pizza from there quite a few times. It's freaking awesome. We thought we'd come here. Obviously it's a bit early for pizza, but I went for this salted caramel chocolate cake, which looks freaking awesome. And then a latte. Sarah's so got, you like a lemon drizzle cake. Like a lemon drizzle cake, which looks, to be fair, I was kind of torn between these two options. And a cappuccino, and then Luca got this weird, like, spinning plastic thing, and a rice cake. He is uh, cutting for a show. Anyway, um, I'm excited. freaking awesome, did not disappoint. We are now wandering the high street, um, doing exciting things that you do when you have a baby, like get medicine from Boots. Woo! No, okay, thanks. Next stop is to vote. Pretty big moment in everyone's lives. Uh, it's election day, so I'm gonna go and vote. We have until like 10 p.m. tonight. The polling station is like right behind me. They always have them in like really weird locations. This is in like, a, like an age concern place or something. So uh, yeah, maybe play a few games of backgammon and then I'm gonna vote. Well, that was an absolute joke. I tried to vote for myself, wasn't even on the list of candidates. What is that about? Okay, I'm back home. That noise you can probably hear is Sears and Luca in the shower. Luca friggin' loves the shower. He's at the point now where he just like dives in the shower and like splashes and goes nuts. It's really cute watching him. Also, on the topic of Luca, look at these friggin' pictures. How cute are these? How's it going, dude? We're gonna like cover this whole wall of pictures of Luca, who's got so many super cute ones. Anyway, um,. Uh, yeah, so the plan now, I need to quickly continue with Project Delts. If you don't know what Project Delts is, watch more of my videos. So I'm gonna go and do that in a second. Uh, in a bit, it says his dad is coming round with some stuff for dinner because he is a hero. Um, he's got, I believe it's red Thai curry. So I'm gonna go and uh, continue with Project Delts and then catch up with you after that.
okay, I'll put the um, I'll put my good light on because I thought it would make the like, the shot look better, and I guess it did, but at the same time, it made the room like 400 degrees, so I'm unbelievably sweaty. Um, I need to have a shower. I probably won't have time, because I think says Dad's come around any second now, so I want to go downstairs and then see what's going on. Right, so I'm downstairs, haven't showered yet. Uh, they've just turned up with the food, and our front room is a freaking bomb site, so let's get it sorted. set so as promised this is a red tie curry and it looks pretty sweet don't want blood not proper focus this is absolutely revolting <laughs> I went to a shot of Andrew's face in disgust psych it's absolutely delicious the best red curry I've had in the last 24 hours for sure curry is done we're on to dessert <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I have some protein, I have a double decker, and in case you were unaware, that is pretty much the perfect muscle building combination. I'm joking, don't go and eat loads of double deckers because you'll just get fat. But to be honest, if you were unaware of the fact I was joking, probably stop watching my video now and go and like, read a book or something. Um, right, I think the video is quite long. I haven't fully edited it yet, but it's already like pretty long, so I'm gonna wind it up here, guys. Um, Says, what do you think of the new vlogging setup? Good, in inconspicuous. Yeah, yeah, it's quite. You know, like so, walking around town and stuff. That uh, is true. Like, I'll, I'll be honest. It is. Uh, it is a whole new ball game. I'm having to adapt like my life a bit because whereas before I had the G7X, a nice kind of small thing I could put in my pocket, I could just inconspicuously get it out and film around. Now this thing's freaking massive. So you I'll get it out. You kicked Luca out the car seat so you could strap this bag yeah. in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's like I have like a massive sign on my head saying I'm a YouTuber. It's friggin' huge and conspicuous, but hopefully it's way better. So I guess it's worth it. Anyway, I sincerely hope you enjoy the video, guys. If you haven't. Enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and i will see you tomorrow <laughs>